Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Today, we are going to be doing some reviews of some French shoe brands. And we're doing this because I've had some requests for reviews on thoughts on various shoe brands and I thought, you know, like, why not just kind of sum it all up in one video? The brands that we are going to be discussing in today's video will be Vasia Sneakers, Corel Heels, and Rapetto Ballet Flats. All right, let's get into it. So we are going to start with our Vages. These are V10 Vages. I want to note, I have a lot of Vages, many and many colors. I really like this style, okay? So I think that this style is particularly comfortable. I want to know, I have tried on other styles like in the store and other stores. Oh my goodness. Those darn shoes were so uncomfortable, it was ridiculous. But these, this style in particular is, there is a lot of padding in this shoe, in the sole of the shoe. And so I just really believe, I think that's what makes it a super comfortable shoe. I will also note that the toe box here has a lot of space in it, so your feet never feel like squished. Your toes are always able to move. I bought a size 36. I think in reality, I could probably size down to a size 35, but I don't, I don't believe they make a size 35 in these, and so I wear my size 36s with pride. But my shoe size, I think in the US, in sneakers, I think it was a size six, sometimes a five and a half. Um, in French sizes, I'm always a size 36. And yeah, in the, particularly in these shoes. I think these shoes are comfortable. I will note that I have seen a lot of, I'm gonna put them down. <laughs> I, I will note that I have seen a lot of people say on the internet that they do not find they just comfortable. I wanna know, be very, very clear, that style. I think that style is comfortable. I also like that style because they come in just so many different colors. And so I'm able to have kind of a bunch of different colors that work with my various outfits and moods as to, you know, kind of when the day comes. And I, I think that the shoes are also very reasonably priced. I like the fact that they're vegan leather. I like, the, I, I like that kind of ethos of the company. So from my perspective, Will I say Vages are comfortable? Yes. Do I think V10s are comfortable? Yes. Can I walk around and do my 30,000 steps in Paris in my V10s? Absolutely, 100%. I cannot vouch for other styles. As I said, you know, I have tried on other styles and they are incredibly, like some of them were just unreal. It, was, it felt like I was walking on the floor. I was like, why do I even have the shoe on? <laughs> so with that respect, I would say to just really try them out. I think it's a shoe that just may not work for every foot. Um, and I also think that there is such variety in padding in their various styles that it's just not always, it's, it, it, it can be difficult. So you don't wanna get the wrong pair. So definitely like experiment a bit. But can I vouch for the Veja V10s? 100%. The next set of shoes I'm gonna be talking about are my Corel heels. I absolutely love Corel heels and I have a couple different styles and I'm going to show them to you. Okay, so this right here is their classic style. It is called Alice. As you can see, it kind of has this long toe box. It has this kind of chunky heel and there are two straps that go across. They do have one that come in lower heels and then they also have ones where there are three straps um, that go across. And these I take a size 35 because for me they do run a bit large. So as I said, I'm normally a 36, but in these I wear a 35. One thing I will note is that if you are sensitive to your feet looking big, like looking like they're big, I would say that these shoes definitely make your feet look big. And that's because of this really long, elongated toe box that they have. I really do think that it does like make your foot look a little bit bigger, particularly because of like the, the lower heel. So I would just say that's something you're sensitive to, keep it in mind. Um, these shoes I found are incredibly comfortable. They're padded on the inside, which is really nice. But one thing I will note is that me personally, to keep my little pinky toe from rubbing, I do have to like tape my pinky toe to make sure it 
doesn't rub along the side. I find that to be a little bit annoying, but I do do it. It's weird because all of this, like right up in here, this part of the toe box has a lot of space, but then like right here is where my little pinky toe sometimes rubs. So I do have to get, um, I do have to apply the Band-Aid. But other than that, the shoes are incredibly comfortable. I find that this heel is a perfect, you know, heel height for walking around Paris in. So I really, really like the heel height. I also like the fact that it has the two straps. You know, you can change the two straps. You can crisscross them a little bit, which some people do, but I personally like this. They come in so many different colors. I got the burgundy because I have this amazing burgundy bag and I really wanted a pair of shoes to match, but also I felt like this was a really cute little chic fall shoe and so I wanted to have this for the the cooler months as we move into fall and then winter so that's why I opted for this style and yeah I really really like it I, I really like the shoe and it is leather so it is leather and this is um, obviously like a patent leather type you know finish and so um, but it's still comfortable and it's really cute let me show you the second style I have so this is the second style of Corel heels that I have. It's called the Banan. And as you can see, it is has like a similar toe box and two straps, but the difference is, is that it's a slingback. And I really, really love me a pair of slingbacks. And as you can see also, the heel is still low and relatively chunky. So I will say with this shoe, I, I find this shoe to be ridiculously comfortable. I love this little orange color. I think it's fun. This shoe is ridiculously comfortable. Like, let let me be clear this shoe is ridiculously comfortable I love this shoe it has the padding just like the other one which I think is really great this shoe actually my little toe doesn't rub in it but I still tape it just out of precaution so I still tape it but yeah doesn't rub I can walk around the city in these shoes like all day like so seriously, you can walk around in these shoes all the time. So I really, really love these shoes. They're absolutely 100% some of my absolute 100% favorites. So yes, love, love, love me some Corel heels. I absolutely love these shoes. And again, it's leather. It's this kind of patent leather, vernis is what they call it. Um, and it's this really pretty orange color. And as you can see, they're super cute. Like look at this cute little heel. Like look at, look at this cute little shoe. All right, so I also though wanna talk about where I bought those from. I bought my Corel heels at Prom Top. Prontemps Houseman. It is a department store here in Paris, but you can also buy them from the Corel store. Either place you are eligible for your VAT refund, so you'll be able to get that if you choose to buy either at the Corel store or in um, at, like a department store like Prontemps. I, you can you can take advantage of your your VAT refund. So their shoes kind of vary in price, but do they do tend to be right about like the 300 euro um, mark? But I will definitely say I find their shoes incredibly comfortable. So I do not believe it will be a purchase you will regret. Last but not least, the shoes that I have owned the longest my Repetto Ballet Flats, okay? So these are my Repetto Ballet Flats. I also have them in this like brownish color right here. So I have them in a couple different colors and I might get one more, but I also may not because for me and for my foot, I think like a low heel is better than, than a flat. So let, let's get into this. So I found my Repetto belly flats to be very comfortable. I, they're, they're made of, of leather, obviously. And I really like this toe box here. Like if you can see it, it gives your feet like pretty good space. And so your feet don't feel squished in them, which is, I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> your feet don't feel squished in them, which is which is really great and really, really nice. Good for your toes. We don't want squished toes. As you can see, there is a little bit of padding in them. I would not say it's a lot, right? So I have friends who wear these shoes around Paris all the time and it's like all they wear and they love theirs. I personally, for me, that doesn't work for my foot. Like, I don't think a ballet flat is the best shoe for my foot unless it has substantial padding um, just because of the way that, that my foot is. So this has padding, but is it enough padding for me to walk around the streets of Paris and do my 30,000 steps? No. 
I will also note that it definitely, these shoes 100% rub my little toe. So I always, always, always have to wear my Band-Aids with them or I will get a blister on my little toe. Now, as far as the style of the shoe, I love the style of the shoe, right? It's super cute, it's super chic. Um, it has this really low heel, which I think is really great. And of, I mean, they're, they're very, they are a very chic, very cute ballet flat. If you are a ballet flat person, I definitely think you, you will like this because they have so many styles, so many colors. They do have options with low heels, right? So not just ballet flats, they do have you know options with kind of bigger heels than what, what you see on the flat. I think that they are a great like commuter shoe for example. I think they would be great, you know, if you're in your car driving, that sort of thing. Or you're running around and you're doing your errands, but you're like in your car driving. Are these the shoes that you walk around Paris in all day? In my opinion, no. That's just my opinion. But if you have a foot for it, then yes, it will be fine for it, for you. I think that's one of the things to always keep in mind, right? When people are giving shoe re reviews, all of our, our feet are so different. There are different things that are gonna be, diff that are gonna be comfortable for different people. Uh, another thing I will note is that if you are concerned about the size of your foot and like whether or not your foot looks big, I would say that Rapetos are going to make your foot look teeny tiny. So if that's something that you're after, then Rapetos are definitely going to work. And as I said, they come in so many different colors and come in so many different styles, you'll be able to find something that, that you will really like. And as far as where to buy Rapetos, I would recommend that you just go into a Rapetto store. You can get your VAT refund right then and there and you'll be completely set up for when you leave the EU. Okay. So with that said, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope I have answered your questions on the Rapetto Ballet Flats, the Corel Heels, and the Vasia sneakers. Feel free to let me know if you have any other questions or you know, thoughts in the comments. Let me know if there are any other French brands that you want to hear more about, that you'd like more reviews on. I'm more than happy to do so for you. You know, it's really important when you're making a purchase to kind of have somebody give you a sense of like what things are. So I'm just really happy to be able to do that for you. With that all said, take care, stay safe, let a home girl know your thoughts in the comments and talk to you again soon. Oh, 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 oh,